if you had to pick, you know, your top five longevity foods that everyone would be better off consuming as frequently as possible, what's on David Sinclair's longevity food grocery list? Oh, food, not supplements. Yeah. Okay. So food, food. I, so as a, as a guide, I try to choose foods that have been grown under stressful conditions. So these would be organic for a start, a locally grown and not in a, just a regular hothouse, uh, with lots of nutrients and water. So if I can go to a local, um, farm, I'll do that. And, but the other way you can do it is you can look for foods that have a lot of color, the purples, the reds, the very deep greens. These are signs that the plants are making healthy molecules for you. These xenohormetans, as I mentioned, so that the top foods would be, if I could only eat one food, it would probably be avocados. The next one I do like very high quality, fresh, very tasty, you know, with maybe a little bit of bread or gluten-free bread dipped in there, but not a lot. I try to avoid carbs like that. So we've got two. The third one would be a roasted Brussels sprouts, pan fried, a bit of garlic and uh, salt and pepper. That's three. But the next would be, um, cantaloupe or rock melon, as I would call it. As a fruit, that's the most nutritious you can get. And if I could pick another one in that category, I'd say blueberries as well. I snack on those pretty often. And then the fourth category or fifth category that's important would be the nuts. And so cashews are my favorite, but I also have Brazil nuts, Brazilian, and just a whole variety of nuts during the day. So if I'm peckish, I'll take a few and the protein in the nuts suppresses appetite. I love it. Everyone get out their pencils, go on their Instacart or Amazon prime, or go to their local farmer's market, however you go shopping, you got your list. Personally, I, I think you're, I, I, you made me very happy with avocados taking number one spot. Um, I, I'll never forget. There was a moment on the podcast where we had Walter Longo, the famous Walter Longo on the show. This was like two years ago and we were talking about avocados and he said, I, I'm not sure we don't have the data. If, if all this avocado consumption is good for us. And I was like, whoa, 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 hold on. You just said like, there's no Santa Claus to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy to hear avocados. Yes. Well, well, I'm, I'm a good friend and colleague of Falters. We've known each other since we were kids, actually in our twenties. And we like to debate, but where I, I would disagree about that is that we know that avocados have high levels of oleic acid as well. Uh, so does um, olive oil. And oleic acid will activate CERT1, which is an enzyme that controls longevity in our bodies. And so we know at least some of the components such as oleic acid are extremely beneficial as well as those unsaturated fats that come up. 